Hi, it's Lipstick Out. Thanks for watching today. I wanted to do some lip swatches and first impressions and just show you something that is brand new. This is something from Lisa Eldridge. She is a British makeup artist. She's been in the business for more than 20 years. She is remarkable. Of course, um, is a deep lover of makeup, uh, the history of makeup, uh, vintage makeup, ancient makeup. Um, and she also is one of those people who I appreciate her approach. She has a lot of things that are very editorial when she's doing shoots for magazines, but then her everyday makeup looks so much like a version of her that is just amplified, even if there's a lot of color involved. Uh, I just love her personal style of makeup. So I have been watching Lisa for years on YouTube, um, and every time I see, you know, that she has done makeup for a photo shoot somewhere, I'm, I'm always like really looking at, like it's so exciting for me. Uh, but I wanted to show you today her brand new first ever makeup item, and of course, in my own true delight, it's a lipstick. <laughs> All right, so this is shipped from Britain. Uh, it came in a FedEx mailer, but on the inside was this little box, and it's got all of these little, you know, black, crinkly, so it was very nicely padded. On the inside of that, there was this, and this is a gorgeous black velvet with gold accents on it. It has her monogram here, and that's what the lipsticks came in. I'm going to get rid of the box. All right, she also included this super cute little note. And on the back side, it says, I'm so thrilled to be sending you my limited edition matte velvet lipstick. I hope you will love the sumptuous and delicate true velvet finish on the bullet and enjoy wearing the creamy, highly pigmented and lightweight color on your lips. It's been a challenge to achieve the velvet effect. And then in parentheses, I actually gave up at one point. <laughs> but I am so happy I got there in the end as I think it's a really unique and magical I'm sure you'll get lots of compliments when you're wearing a lipstick. I would love to see it, so please share pictures via Instagram or Facebook with the hashtag Lisa Eldridge Makeup. I've taken a lot of time to pack your lipstick with extra cushiony care with love, Lisa. And I thought that was great. And I already was very impressed that this little bag here, it had, when I opened it up, it had black tissue on the inside, and it came sandwiched between two big layers of that black crinkly paper. But then when I opened up the package, each tube in its own unicarton was in bubble wrap. And I was like, oh, wow, that's great. And that was inside here with the tissue paper. And then when I opened up, let me find these, um, one of these unicartons, and they're really pretty, gold and white, it slid out. And then the tube itself was encased in paper. And I was just like, mind blown. I have never seen any company ever package anything with such care. And I love that. Let me show you, first of all, this is what the Unicarton looks like. It's very pretty, Lisa Eldridge. And then on the top, it has not only her logo but also the name of the lipstick and then the ingredients on the back the sides are gold which I think is just such a beautiful touch the lipstick bullet itself is just cylindrical gold on the top it has her logo the L with the lips and I'm not even getting it straight there you go the L with the lips so pretty and what I love about this is it also has a magnetic closure that to me is so satisfying in a lipstick. Um, it's very nicely done. The packaging is gorgeous. Now, she says these are a limited edition, and that kind of makes me wonder whether the packaging is limited edition, or these shades are limited edition, or this whole velvet lipstick line itself is limited edition. Now, one of the things, I'll see if I can find a photo of it and put it up for you. But one of the things that I really remember, there was a photo shoot that she did and she wanted that velvet look on the lips. So she actually took a piece of red velvet and cut it out to the shape of the model's lips. And so it's not lipstick on her lips, but it's velvet, but it is so meticulous. And I know she is a lover of red lipstick. Uh, I myself am that. I think it's one of 
the most beautiful colors and I believe 100% that anybody can wear a red. So I decided to get the set that had all three of the lipsticks. So I have all three of them here. Um, and I wanted to not only talk about it a little bit with you, but also show you what the shades are and do some swatching. So this first lipstick here, this one is called Velvet Ribbon. And it's one of those, I, I wish that you could see it up close and person because you can see here the shiny surface is where you would apply it to your lips. But the rest of it really does look like it's encased or covered in velvet all the way up to where it slants off and you would apply it to your lips because it's and and i guess it's one of those things that i am so impressed with i grew up in fabric stores my mother did a lot of sewing i had velvet dresses you know, dresses that had velvet sashes and then she would you know make a ribbon for my hair that was made out of velvet <clears throat> And so for me, Velvet has a lot of really good memories, and it's a very luxe feeling fabric. I love it so much. And if you look at it, it does actually look, I'm, I'm just so mesmerized, it does actually look like there is velvet all the way around, and right here is where there's the only bit of lipstick, but the whole thing is lipstick, which is remarkable. So this shade here, this one is called Velvet Ribbon. This one has more of a blue leaning red to it, this one here is called Velvet Morning, and it has more of an orange, warm lean to it. The last one that she did, this one's called Velvet Jazz, and is more of like a brick red. And I love that you get such a wide variety of these shades here. My dog just walked in. Hello, pooch. Apparently, I'm her person, and she can't be without me. <laughs> So I thought it might be fun to try these. I'm going to apply them directly from the bullet and I might have to do a little bit of finessing with a lip brush. So I do have a clean lip brush out that I will, you know, if I need to fix any edges, but I thought we'd just jump in and I thought we would go from lightest to darkest. So I'm going to start with the more orangey toned one and this one is called Velvet Morning. So here are what the shades look like. This right here is Velvet Morning, Velvet Ribbon, and Velvet Jazz. And you can see the change in these from really warm to much deeper and more of a bricky shade. And what I have on right now is kind of a mix of these last two, of Velvet Ribbon and Velvet Jazz. The Jazz is more kind of like on the outside edges um, and in the corners. And then that really much brighter, more bluey red kind of in the center. Uh, and of course it's all been happily mixed together and that's the thing that I really like about these they feel comfortable they don't feel like a really dry matte lip um, there and I have some and I don't know that it maybe I'll just tell you which ones they are I have some Anastasia and some of the really matte mattes I forget what the name is I'll throw it up on the screen for you from um, Mac like Ruby Woo is like that ultra matte and it makes my lips, like if I'm trying to apply it, I feel like it's, you get some tugging going on. And it doesn't, these apply beautifully in just one swipe. You can build them up a little bit, but if you were to take, this is uh, Velvet Morning. There's multiple, I went over this one multiple times, but the shade is almost exactly the same in one swipe. They apply beautifully. I did find that I felt like I could, be more precise with this deepest shade, this Velvet Jazz, if I had a lip liner. Because the deeper shades go, I think I have a fairly steady hand until I look at the edge and I'm like, oh, oh, not so steady. And nude lipsticks or uh, lighter shades, you can really get away with it not being super uber precise, but in a matte lipstick, and then on top of that, a deeper matte, I feel like I might feel more confident wearing this shade if I were to pair it with a lip liner. So as far as matte lipsticks go, this is ridiculously comfortable. It's, it, it has a, a feeling of softness. 
it's not dry. I really could see myself liking this. Now I'll have to get back to you and tell you in the long run, is this a lipstick that I reach for all the time? Because the lipsticks, I used to have Ruby Woo, I used to have a red from Anastasia Beverly Hills, um, and, and I realized that those lipsticks that tend to be matte but drier, that's why I don't love liquid lipsticks, is they are so drying and they pull all of the life out of my lips. And then I have crusty, sandpapery desert lips and that's not the look I'm going for and so much can show up like you start the day and your lips look beautiful and then halfway through the day it starts to dry out and then by the end of the day you have like little actual flakes I feel like that is so bad especially if you're wearing really bold color like red is it just makes it look sloppy I don't know but the impression I get by this formula is that this is not going to be the case with this I did have a light layer of balm down before I applied the first lipstick, but then when I took it off to apply the rest. So I would like to see how these wear with a very light layer of balm. I don't know that this lipstick would start to kind of bleed or feather out into the finer lines around my lips with something else. I feel like this way it's going to stay put. It might travel a smidge if I put a balm down, depending on the consistency of the balm. But that is something I'm really kind of interested in figuring out and interested in trying. Now, as far as the colors, I think they're brilliant. I have just recently fallen in love with an orangey red, and I love the way it looks with my skin tone. It's just, if I were to whiten my teeth more often, chances are I'd wear it more often. Um, but that's something that's kind of been on my, okay, gotta do it, gotta be better about it so I can wear whatever lipstick I want. So when you think about it, is it worth it? This comes down to, are you a lipstick lover? because I'm one of those, now don't get me wrong, I do have some drugstore lipsticks, but my most beloved lipsticks are ones that come in gorgeous packaging and have gorgeous formulas. I've never felt a formula like this at the drugstore. It, it's lightweight, it's fully opaque, and the ones that are lightweight um, sometimes aren't always like the feeling of it lightweight on your lips. I've tried a couple mattes from the drugstore and I haven't tried a ton so maybe you can tell me is there something out there that might be similar to this. Um, they don't always have a beautifully full opaque. Okay fine. Or um, it's not a matte lipstick or the matte lipstick itself tends to be really drying. I don't know yet but I can usually tell when I'm applying it if it's tugging and pulling like if my lip starts to move like this as I'm trying to pull the bullet across. I know at that point that this is going to really suck the life out of my lips. This has a nice glide and a nice slip to it. It also doesn't feel like I have a really big layer no matter how many times I pass the bullet over my lips. I don't feel like I have like a lot because sometimes if you wear a lipstick, lip liner, then lipstick, and then put a little gloss on top, you can feel that layer of, and it's not just the lip gloss, but even with lipstick, if you just do a lot of lipstick, sometimes you can feel the layers on your lips. I don't really feel like I have a lot of product on, but it's really bold and it's really beautiful. I love the warm all the way to the brick red, those three shades. I think these are great. Now, I don't know. I remember reading these are limited edition. It says it in this little note that she sent along, limited edition. But somebody asked on Instagram, are these limited edition like never coming back? And she says, I don't know. We might re-release them next year. And at that point, my question is, is the packaging limited? Is Are the shades limited? Maybe they will re-release these shades in different packaging when they release maybe a wider range of these velvet lipsticks. Maybe they'll have 10 to 12 shades and these will be somewhere in the mix. I don't know. I don't know. And part of me, I don't, I have a love-hate with limited edition packaging or products because I want to be able to I, as a makeup lover, will use it no matter what because I love it. But it's hard to show you something and then you're not able to get it if you want it to because it's limited and it's gone. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, don't do that. But I, I don't know. If I were Lisa, I wouldn't change the packaging. I kind of would be surprised if she did. It's got this beautiful detail on the top, the L with the lips. It's just gorgeous. I do, And the, the magnetic closure to me is just like, like little angels singing when things like that happen. I think these are beautiful. I think everything about these are fantastic. So is it worth it? From my perspective, yes. The shades are gorgeous. The formula is beautiful. The packaging is beautiful. The care with which it was all put together and sent 
I've never had an experience like that before where everything was even individually wrapped inside the unicart and I was just like, ooh, <laughs> fancy. And I think that for the price that you pay, you're really getting a luxurious product. But then you have to ask yourself, do I wear red? Do I wear mattes? Do I like traditional lipstick bullets as opposed to something that comes with an applicator like a liquid lipstick? So I think those are the questions you have to ask yourself. I'm very pleased that I have these. And I hope if you are a red lipstick lover that, you know, you may check them out. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a really good day and I'll see you again soon.